of my subscribers my old subscribers the new ones thank you so much guys I really do appreciate your support on my channel, my old subscribers. And then if you are new to my channel, you're highly welcome. And then please not hesitate to hit on the subscribe button on the side, like my video, share my video, and then hit on the notification bell to get an update whenever I upload a new video. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to cut a knotted um, sleeve uh, kaftan dress. It could be, a, you could call it a cow, cow kaftan, you could call it a kaftan, so whatever you choose to call it, but you could see the picture up there. So I'm just going to, with a slanted and uh, neck line. So that's just basically what I'm going to be showing you how to cut. This is a really uh, fast project. It's something that you could do uh, in under one hour, you should be done. So that's what I'm just going to be showing you how to do. And then I've got a, a chiffon fabric here. This is three yards of fabric. It's like, um, a, a, this is like a sample chiffon fabric so that's what i'm going to be using so now just fold my fabric i'm going to be folding it in, into four and then i'll be inserting my measurements because it's not going to be having any zipper so let's go this is two so I'm, i'll be folding it again So this is four. So this is how we folding my fabric. So I'll place now on the table. So now I'll measure out my fabric. So I'll be making use of the entire uh, length of this fabric. So I'll just measure. Okay. What I actually want for this um captain dress is actually 57 inches so i have 57 inches so that's plus the allowance is 57 inches the actual um dress is actually 55 inches so this is like my 55 inches so i'll use the remaining two inches to do the fold at the down part so i'm just going to leave it that way so, so i'm going to be inserting uh, my knee measurement here now so the knee measurement that I have here is 33 and a half inches. So that's at 3.5 inches. It's just on two inches above my knee level. You could, if you want the knee parts to be tight, so you could decide to use, make your, make use of the actual knee measurement. So this is it. So this other line, you just ignore it. So this is my 33 and a half inches, which is for my knee line. So the next thing I'm going to be doing now, I'm, I'm going to be making use of um, everything I have that's here for the sleeves. And what I have, I'm just going to measure it out. Everything I have here is 22 inches. So I'll just explain as I go along. So the first thing I'll do now, measure out the neckline. The neckline that was actually used for that dress is actually a boat neck or you can also call it a batu. So that was what the neckline that was used. So it's just that is the way she was putting it on. So she bent it to one side and then gave the shoulder a kind of an exposure so that's what i'm i'll be doing now so i'll be using the boat neck so and i'll be making use of five inches for this uh, neckline so this is like my five inches mark so and then the depth that i'm going to be doing is not meant to be too deep but i don't want mine to be too deep so i'm just going to be making use of two inches that's the depth i'll make use of two inches i want the back and the front to be the same so I don't want it separate. So this is like my neckline. So what is remaining, I'm going to be using to form my sleeve measurement. Because my actual me uh, shoulder measurement is actually 14 inches. So this is 14 inches, which is um, 7. That's for the shoulder measurement. And then this is like remaining as the sleeve, which is 20 inches. So I'm just going to add everything and I'll use all as my sleeve measurement so that makes it 22 inches that's plus my shoulder measurement and the sleeve measurement so that's that so i'm just going to come here at this end part and i'll measure 1.5 inches to do my shoulder slant so i'm just going to roll it like this and then i'm going to be slanting it from this point to my neckline point so i've done my shoulder slant and then this is my neckline so I'm just going to leave it out and I don't want to cut it out yet. So for my armhole measurement, I'm just going to come here. You could use between 8 and 9 inches. So I'm just going to be making use of 8 inches for, for the armhole. 
so i'll make use of eight inches from this point and then from this point i'm just going to to come in a bit like this so i'm just going to make a curve like this i'll just set it out first and then I'll, i'm leaving it first so the next thing i'll come to this point i'll measure my uh, hip measurement my hip measurement i'll be placing it on this knee pad so for the hip measurement i have 44 when you divide 44 into 4 you have 11 inches so this is like my 11 inches and then i'll add 4 inches as my allowance so i'm just going to make a, a big circle from this point now So I hope you can see it. So the next thing I'll do now, I'll just take the measurement down because I don't, I really do not want the down to be two. You could decide to measure, you could decide to measure 44 inches, which is 22. If you feel it's okay for you, you could leave it. But if you feel it's not okay, you could decide to, to just um, take the same uh, measurement that I have here and then just replicate it down here. So you could just decide to do that. So I'm just going to take my long ruler like this and just I'm just going to be slanting it. So it's a little bit slanted. So I added one inch to it. So you could see what I have. So I'm just going to go over it again, just for clearance. So I measure out five inches for the neckline and then my shoulder measurement which is um, 14 seven inches so and then plus the sleeve so everything that i have from the sleeve to the neckline is 22 inches and then i dropped it by um 1.5 inches for my shoulder slant and then eight inches for my arm hole line so this is like my arm hole opening so i and then made a curve to my hip line so this is my hip uh, measurements here so and then took it down and extended it by one inch inch at the down so i'm just going to be cutting it out now i hope it's clear so this you can see what i have now I'm just going to open it up like this and then in the stitching I'll go and then turn out the neckline if you want your neckline to be bigger or wider you could decide to increase it because you decide to use six inches so I'll just uh, hem the neckline and then I'll run a stitch up to this point I'll stop it here and then run another stitch from this point and then I'll run another stitch along this line to the hemline so i just do that and then come back and show you before i'll fix the knots on the sleeves welcome back guys so you could see so the dress is done my captain dress cow captain dress is done so i did a hem at the neckline so like i said if you want to increase the neck width you could decide to do that so and then the the sleeve length so the sleeve line sorry so at the end of the day this was what i did the sleeve part i measured it to my uh, wrist um that's my sleeve the the how tight i actually wanted it to be i measured it up to that point and then for the knot on the sleeve what i did i took another fabric just a long straight uh, piece of fabric like this measuring about two inches that's on four this two inches when you open it it's like about four inches so I folded it and ran a stitch and then turned and then attached to this um, point. So you could see how I did it. I just attached it, just made a notch on it at the, the ending part. Not the top part of the sleeve, but the, the on, under part of your, your bicep. That's the under part, not on this top part. Not from your shoulder line, so the under part. So I just added the notch. Um, I just made a notch just to like top stitch it on it so this with this now you could tie it to however you want to to tie it it will look as if it's a band but actually it's not a band it's just a little trick 
that went with and this dress so you could see how beautiful it is looking so it look as if it's, it's, it's a band actually it's not a band so that's just like the little trick that is with this um, dress so I'm just gonna put it on now and snap some nice pics with it so thank you so much if you find this video helpful so thank you so much guys if you find this video helpful please do not hesitate to like this video you could share it with your friends if you actually made uh, yours you could share it with me on stylish and just sewing uh, group here on, on on facebook like i'm on facebook now on facebook so you could just share it go to stylish niger sewing group on facebook and then post the picture and tell me that you actually made it from this illustration so thank you so much and then i'll see you in my next video